السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام و برکاتہ ڈاکٹر ذاکر کرن یور اے مسلم ریورٹ مائی کوشچن از آر ٹرو سکس کنسیڈرڈ آئیڈل ورشپرس کین اے مسلم مین میری اے سکھ گرل اف دے آر کنسیڈرڈ آئیڈل آف آئی ورشپرس اف یو ہرڈ مائی ٹاکس آن سکھزم سکھزم ایکچولی از اگینسٹ آئیڈل ورشپ They are against Avtar Vada, that Almighty God taking Avtar. Sikh, a true Sikh who follows the scriptures, believe there is one God. And they believe that Almighty God has got no image. He is all powerful. The concept of God in Sikhism is close to the concept of God in Islam. But it is, the question is not that a Muslim cannot only marry an idol worshipper. A Muslim man or woman cannot marry a non-Muslim man or woman. The Quran says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 2, 21 that let that do not marry a believing woman. Let not a believing woman marry an unbelieving man or an idol worshipper until he believes a slave man who is a Muslim is far superior to a non-Muslim even if he allows you. He may be the most handsome man in the world. He may be the richest man in the world. He may be the king of, king of the world. But a believing man, who's a bondsman, who's a slave man, Allah says, is better than an unbelieving man even if he allows you. He may be most handsome, he may be the most richest. And the verse continues, that do not marry unbelieving woman or a mushrika. So the two things, idol worshipper or unbeliever, means those who don't believe in Islam. Do not marry unbelieving woman or a mushrika until they believe. A believing woman, a Muslimah, even if she is a bond woman, she is much better than an unbelieving woman even if she allows you. She may be a beauty queen, she may be the richest woman in the world, she may be a queen of the richest country in the world. But if she is an unbeliever, a Muslim woman who is a slave woman is far superior than an unbelieving woman even if she allows you. So based on this verse of the Quran, you cannot marry a non-Muslim. So the Sikh, even if it's the true Sikh following, who may not be doing idol worship, can you marry? No. You have to believe in the last line, final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. To marry, the person should be a Muslim, it's compulsory. Should be a Muslim and, and the Prophet said that when you marry, when you look for a life partner, you look for four things. One is beauty, wealth, nobility and virtue, religion, that is deen. And the most important from most all is virtue, it is deen. So, unless the non-Muslim accepts Islam, you cannot marry a non-Muslim. Hope that answers the question.